Hi friends, uh, here is another type of problem in arithmetic progression, especially it is a type of the nth term problems, right? Mm, now the question is saying if the third term and nth term, right? Third term and nth, ninth term of an AP are 4 and negative 8 respectively, which term of this AP is 0, right? So we are given the third term, right? We are given A3 is equals to 4, right? and uh, a9 is also we are got, we have got right a9 and 9 ninth, ninth term is also we are given that is negative 8 right so we have to find out which term right which number of terms this and we need to find out is equals to 0 right means n equals to what right so uh, we are given here a3 and a9 always you know in this type in this type of problem uh, whatever we have given by using this we have to first find out the value of a uh, means the first term and the common difference always and always right first we need to find out the first term and then common difference we need to find out these two must if we got this two value right we can find out the any number of terms easily right so let me first write down here for the first one uh, let me change the color okay fine this one right so here a3 is equals to uh, a plus n minus 1 right so n minus 1 times d so since this is a3 right this is for the n term formula and it, since this is this is a3 so it is a and n will be 3 right minus 1 times d right or a3 is given that is 4 4 is equals to a plus 3 minus 1 that is 2d right so uh, we got this a plus 2d equals to 4 or uh, right, I'm just writing writing it properly uh, a plus 2d equals to 4 or a is equals to 4 minus 2d right this is my first one and here what do we know another one that a 9 is equals to means the ninth term is equals to again a plus 9 minus 1 right n minus 1 it means it since it is the ninth term so it will be 9 minus 1 times the common difference uh, the common difference here uh, we need to find out that we don't know that's d right so again here a 9 is given that is negative 8 right and again here a plus 9 minus 1 that is 7 uh, d right sorry it is 8 d 9 minus 1 that is 8d right so again it is uh, here it is a right uh, so minus 8 plus we got the value of a here from 4 minus 2d I'm writing here 4 minus 2d plus 8d since the value of a is 4 minus 2d right this is the value of a so that's why I'm putting the value of the this is uh, a 4 minus 2d here right so now it is minus a uh, minus 8 equals to for now see plus 8d minus 2d so it will be plus 6d right so again this is positive so i'm uh, taking this this side right so it will be 8 minus 4 equals to 60 or minus 8 minus 4 it will be, it will be minus 12 equals to 6a sorry 6d right 6d so simply we got the value minus 12 divided by 6 is equals to d so 6 to the 12 that's why the value of d equals to 2 right negative 2 and therefore the value of a will be now right mm, this one okay so therefore value of a will be now 4 minus 2 times d that is negative 2 right so 4 minus minus plus 2 to the 4 so it is 8 right so we get the value of first term and the last term first term is 8 and the common difference not last term the common difference is negative 2 right so first term and uh, first term is 8 right and the common difference is negative 2 so now we need to find out the which term is equals to 0 means the value of nth term is equals to 0 right suppose nth term is equals to 0 right and we know the formula of nth term that is a plus and minus 1 times d equals to 0 right or a is we know that is 8 and nth term we know that is uh, sorry uh, nth term we don't know that we need to find out right and we know the common difference that is negative 2 equals to 0 right or 8 plus minus 2 times n it will be uh, again uh, okay n times minus 2 it will be minus 2n 
minus minus plus it will be 2 equals to 0 right so or 8 plus 2 it will be 10 minus 2n equals to 0 therefore 2n is equals to 10 minus 2n it will go this side so I'm just writing it's 2n this time and therefore n equals to 10 minus sorry 10 divided by 2 right so 2 5 j. it means n equals to 5 it means the nth term right a fifth term is equals to 0 in the series in in, in, in in this question the fifth term is equals to 0 the value of the fifth term is 0 so like this we have to find out the term right which term is equals to 0 uh, we solve it like this uh, sometime in the same problem you'll be getting these two values right uh, third term fourth term in this in the place of third term and fourth term you'll be getting any terms right and the, their values and you'll be asked to find out here suppose you may be asked here what is the value of 29th term what is the value of 45th term right what is the value of 60th term what, what is the value of 100th term like this this kinds of problem you'll be getting so again after after solving after uh, getting the value of a and d right after getting the value of a and d you have to find out suppose the question is asking for the 29th term then just put the value of a n right uh, means use this a n formula that is a plus n minus 1 times d right and you'll be getting the value of uh, right so you'll be getting uh, and also you, you will be finding out right first find a and uh, then d right and then n will be given right so since it is telling 29 terms so n is also you know right so you just have to put the value and get the value right put the n term and then get the value uh, these are the simple problems uh, right and I have listed some problems in my blog also uh, try to go there right now that is s k y i n g b l o g z e r right this kind of blog link right here s k y i n g right b l o g z e r s kind blogger dot com uh, put some lot uh, some listed some problems there are uh, related to this closely related to these problems that will really enhance your knowledge in this topic okay we'll be meeting in the next video with the next type of problem okay bye bye